what is up all my subscribers out there and those of you that ain't subscribed welcome back to mind test doing some more dragon ball z stuff in the last episode we finished up uh kame house it's pretty much done except for putting a front door on it and maybe doing a few little uh detail stuff you know here and there which will be done later not going to really mess with trying to do any detail work right now. Right now we're going to focus on doing the dirt island and all that. The dirt and the grass and the palm trees. The palm trees may end up being difficult. I might have to go get a mod that has palm trees. I'm, I'm sure there is one. If I have to, I will. But, you know, if I don't have to, then that'd be great. <laughs> It turned out great though i'm happy with it you might be able to this is a 16 by 16 if you missed any of the other ones the one next door is uh 24 by 24. you may be able to get away with doing like a 12 by 12 or something maybe i ain't saying you can but it's possible Either way, even if you do, you're still going to have to make the back bigger than what it's supposed to be if you are going to do the interior. But, time to move on and do the island. The island's pretty much flat. Like, in most of the... Like, pretty much everything I've looked at, it's flat. I remember, like, in the anime, it was flat. So I guess that's what I'll just do. I don't know. First, we got to get rid of this, though. Going to use this super wicked drill to just chop this house down. Let's go ahead and cut it down. stuff if you ain't careful with it you're like whoa whoops <laughs> gotta be careful with this thing i don't have to destroy the whole thing right now i don't guess i can do that when i'm not recording i just want to kind of get this side out of the way i guess so we can start working on the little land mass that sits under his tiny house chop this over a little bit. Definitely makes cleanup a lot faster. It's just one of them things that speeds up the building process and tearing down and all that. I start building something big, I'll probably start using the Vexazer and filler bucket and all that kind of stuff didn't really have to use it for Roshi's house because it's not very big I'm gonna be doing Kami's lookout next so definitely stick around for that whenever uh, the next video comes out I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. It's definitely going to be round. Like, it has to be round or I wouldn't even bother wasting my time doing it. I've seen some YouTubers do it and make it kind of square looking and just weird kind of shapes and stuff. And I, I just don't like it. It's going to have to be round and look exactly like the one on the anime. <laughs> Okay, I think that's far enough out of the way. We can probably put our dirt down. Let's see what kind of dirt I have. I don't even know what it'd be called. Is it just special kinds of dirt? <laughs> Got compacted dirt. Savannah dirt. That kind of looks like beach sand. That'll 
probably work for some beach sand. Oh yeah, that looks great. Now we need the grass. Definitely not like super green in the pictures and stuff. But I mean, this is the default uh, grass, so I guess that's what I'll just go with. First thing I'm gonna do, I guess, is just go ahead and go around the house one layer. Go ahead and get it out here where I can start working on it. I'm gonna try to follow the exact shape of the island because I got a picture it shows like what it looks like from up in the air so I can see like how it's shaped it's got a bunch of just in and outs and round all like rounded off places try that and see what it looks like I'm just not sure how big it needs to be I'm gonna have to try to go by the proportions of this house Okay, well, we got the first layer of grass down now. This side right here doesn't really stick out that far. It's kind of, I'm going to go from the window over to where it looks like it should be. About right. Probably about right there, I think. From the window to the ocean... That looks about, yeah, it looks about right right there. I mean, from what I can see in the picture, it looks like it's only about maybe 14 feet, maybe 15 feet or so from that window to the sand. Now, the sand's going to stick out probably about three. Yeah, it looks to be about right. So I'm going to have to go ahead and knock another layer of this off because it's going to get in the way. There's also some rocks here and there, but I do have some cool uh, rocks from a mod that I haven't used in like ages. <laughs> so I can put those down when I get to them. What I want to do is just try to do the outline just to see what happens. Like from here, it kind of goes like that way. Gonna give this a try, why not? Keeping the proportions right is what's gonna be the hardest part. It would definitely look great if I can figure out how to do it and keep everything like where it needs to be. This one's kind of going down a little bit out of my picture. <laughs> Probably not far though. It looks like it just kind of rounds off right there and turns. If it doesn't look right after I get done, I'll probably go back and I might be able to just fill in a little here and there on the outside to try to make it look a little better. not far enough away gonna have to come out a little bit here see what this 
this looks like now. Oh man, it's close. So close. And that looks like it ain't but about 10 feet <laughs> from the porch corner right here, like over to here. It looks like it's like right in there. So weird going this away with it, just seems wrong. It's like backwards. It's looking pretty good, but it's not quite the way I want it to be. Dang it. <laughs> Madness. Yeah, it looks better. There we go. I need to bring this over. Back down. Now I can't really I'm having a hard time seeing what's going on here. This one's just kind of woo 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 uh, in and out in and out around through here. It looks like
<laughs> Weird looking there. Okay, this was stopped right, right under the window. seems to be about right though. I mean, it's probably as close as you're going to get it to the way it's actually shaped. Yeah, that looks nice. I'll probably go on the outside around, I think. I'll just start like right here. Just go all the way around. Make it too thick. Back up in the sky and see what we got. Yeah, it looks nice. Hmm. There is some sand like here and there. I don't know, it's got like two different kinds of grass really. It's got like a light dead kind of grass and then it's got the really really green <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll just do the whole thing like pretty green and then I'll go back and see if I can put the dead grass looking like streaks in it and see what that looks like if it looks good then I might go with it if not then yeah, I'll probably just make it all completely green I would speed some of this stuff up, but I tend to talk whenever I'm building stuff, so you know, <laughs> he's at the bear with it. Uh, 
that speed build and stuff. It looks cool doing videos like that where it's just like zoom, 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 like going really fast. But I'd rather just record it at the pace I'm going and put it on there like that. Have some music playing or something. I know one thing I don't like about YouTube is like the copyright music thing is so annoying trying to find music that's worth a crap that you don't have to pay like a bunch of money for to be able to use. And like the YouTube music, like you can get on YouTube and get music on YouTube, but it's just so bad. <laughs> like so much of it's so bad. And then you like get on there and look up like non copyrighted music and uh, you'll find like another YouTuber. It's done like a list of like these are the 20 best non copyrighted mu like songs you can use on YouTube. And then you go get those songs and then you like upload your video and YouTube's like, well, these are copyrighted. You can't use them. You know, <laughs> like copyrighted. And you're like, dang. That <laughs> sucks. That's one thing I really just hate about it. There's some green going on here at Roshi's place. Put his little submarine out there in the water. <laughs> You know, I went back and watched Dragon Ball Z here a while back, and it is so weird sitting down trying to watch it after watching the Dragon Ball Z abridged. I watched it like years ago. So it's really hard to actually sit down and watch it. It like ruined it for me. Because when you're sitting there watching it, you're just thinking about like the, the abridged stuff. <laughs> it's just so hilarious. God, I wish they'd have kept making them Dragon Ball Z abridged. It's like the coolest abridged stuff ever made, period. I've seen a lot of people build uh, his island and make it like, uh, like actually make it with like heels and like different layers and stuff it looks really cool but it's not like that in the show i was thinking i'd just try try to make it flat and see what it looks like because i mean that's the way it's supposed to be the only thing that i can think of that might be sloped would be like the sand like whenever you go down to the sand it might be slightly slope down in the series but most of the time when you're looking at it it just looks flat the bushes and the trees and the grass and stuff I guess just kind of throw it off Man, I miss my filler bucket. Need to get somebody to fix that thing. <laughs> get on there and find somebody to fix it. You can use like the editor. I think it's got like the world editor. I messed around with it one time. I didn't like it, just the way it's set up. If somebody would make like a simpler editor, it'd be cool. But I'm not trying to use something that I have to put all kinds of crazy commands in and stuff. Yeah. Get tired of facing one direction and switch to another. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Master Roshi got his dirty mag somewhere around here. <laughs> Uh, then pi the picture I had, he's got like a hatch up on the roof that's hid. You know, it just lifts the whole, the shingles and all up. And he's got all of his dirty magazines <laughs> like hid up there. been looking at comic books a lot here lately because I've always messed around with comic books and stuff. I was looking around online, yeah, some of them things are just crazy high. Some of them just hard to find. But, uh, I still think the best way to get comic books is to just go out and go to, like, junk stores, uh, antique shops. I mean, you never know what you're going to find. Like, I found an antique shop that sells uh, like a lot of comic books. I mean, some really good ones too. I was actually amazed at what was in there when I went in there. I mean, there's comic books in there from like the 70s for a dollar. But anyway, I went in there. I'm gonna go back and buy some more. But I bought $18 worth of comic books. It's like, I think like 12 comic books or something like that. And uh, I brought them home and looked them over, you know, read a couple of them. Uh, I looked them up online, like went and priced all of them, and uh, there's, uh, they're worth like $118, and I only give 18 bucks for them. So yeah, I would definitely say the best way to get comic books is to still just get out and do it the old-fashioned way <laughs> sometimes, because that's, that's pretty good. Okay, well we got our flat island done here. And it actually looks pretty good. The palm trees is what's going to get me because I, I don't think I got any palm trees. Let's look up palm. No. <laughs> Definitely not. If I got anything that I can kind of weasel around and use here. Maybe I can piece piece it together and make it look like it. I just don't think it's gonna work. Hmm. But if any modders are watching this, go make some uh, palm trees on the mind test content DB, <laughs> so I can give the rubber tree. That's cool, we got spikes. Yeah, just gonna have to... Just gonna have to use like one of these for now, I guess, and maybe I'll try to find some. I'm not good at building trees either. That's like one of the things that I'm just not good at building. Dang. <laughs> that thing's tall. It's like way taller than that. It's supposed to kind of come over here and tilt. <laughs> that looks so, so weird looking. Yeah, I'm just not a tree builder. <laughs> well, crud, uh. Of 
course it's gonna get dark. It's not dark enough to sleep yet. Man, I don't know, that just looks weird. <laughs> I think I'll just make it straight up in the air, honestly. I know they're supposed to be tilted slightly and have some slight curves in them, but it just looks so strange, I don't like it. If you built the tree round, it would probably look alright, but then the tree would be like super big. And it just wouldn't look right anyway. Did it that way. I'm gonna struggle with this because I suck at building trees. <laughs> totally not gonna look like a palm tree at all palm trees are weird anyway they just got like a weird shape like go out and like down Try building a couple like that right there, and then I'll uh, go back and build a couple more. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, but I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I This right here is aggravating I don't like it <laughs> I like messing with tree stuff. It's not only aggravating because the blocks are like like transparent, see-through. It's just boring. Crap. Yeah, I guess that. Kinda looks like a palm tree in a way. I think this right here needs to be thicker though.
God, I gotta do two more of these too. Ugh. See, this one's about right, right in here, I think. Pretty close to the house. It's not very big either. Probably about right there. This one's the big one. Looks like it's kind of somewhere like right in here. Now, just got to do the same thing to these, and it should look pretty good. And do the bushes down there, put some rocks down, maybe some grass, and it uh, should be great. <laughs> Definitely uh, pretty aggravating. I guess that looks good All right, <laughs> last one, thank God. <laughs> this is so annoying.
I really need to start watching the Dragon Ball Super stuff. I haven't even watched very much of it at all. It seems to be pretty cool. Uh, I know a lot of people that really just don't like it. I think it could have been a lot better. It's got the stories kind of. You know. <laughs> it's kind of like Boruto. Boruto was like really great. Now it's just kind of getting kind of corny and cheesy and stuff. <laughs> Can't stay great forever, I don't guess. Maybe they'll uh, do something, bring it, bring it back up. Maybe I can find some uh, some palm trees later. I'll always come back later and do another video. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's really weird, but all the bushes are like underneath the uh, trees. sleep again. Okay, which is darker? They're both pretty much the same. This one's a little bit darker, so I'll go with it. see all of it honestly because uh, in the picture of the corner of the house is kind of in the way. This one's the same way. I can't really see all of it either. See one thing that I'm gonna have to change, I'm gonna have to bring this sandbar like out just a little bit. It needs to be let's go ahead and break it. it needs to come out this way a little bit.
All right, that looks better. So I had to get a little bit more space away from the tree because it does have it in the picture. Put this bush, this one's pretty big and it's shaped kind of funny. Kind of like big on this side and narrow on the other. That seems to be okay. Rocks. <laughs> These are gonna work pretty good, I think. They're desert rocks, but I need like the small ones. I don't need no big, gigantic ones. These are probably way too big. Yeah. I say it's like a smaller one. That day's like two rocks right there. Another one right about there. Swing around over here on the other side. There's one right. Now that we got all that done, back it up, look at it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Got to go out and fill out just a little bit. There's a couple places it's going to have to be filled, like uh, out into the water, like over here. This little section right here is actually supposed to be probably about four or five thick. Then it kind of gets a little narrower. Right around here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I actually think that rock would probably look better about right here. See what kind of grass I have. Just to try to give it a little bit more of a look. That's a reed manicure if I don't need that. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I still want to try the dead grass thing and see what that looks like. I might as well try all these different grasses. 
Some might just be better at what I'm looking for. Let's see, we got that one. Ooh, that's way too tall. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I'll just go with that one. <laughs> I guess I'll just like randomly throw a little bit of grass like here and there. She needs the most grass. See that dead stuff. I don't really know if that's dead grass or if it's just like the sand kind of creeping up into the yard. Got it like right here too. right here in the front though it's not like it's like in the back it's like right here in this front area I guess where they walk probably I mean I guess that makes sense they'd be out here walking around the island so small there'd definitely be a lot of dead grass Looks about right on the layout. This is an image that was clipped from the anime, too. Like, this is actually from the anime, like up in the air, looking down at the uh, Kame house.
is this one right here? Yeah, this one's hooked. That looks pretty good right there. I don't believe I can get it any closer than that. It's pretty accurate. Well, I guess that's pretty much it, except for uh, the little north, east, south, and west thing. I doubt that I have anything like that, though. I don't even know what it'd be called. <laughs> put in wind no I do not have anything like that I'm thinking about going and building commies lookout next but I might go ahead and do another episode working on this because I really want to make the dragon radar and the model maker to like put it in there on like a desk or something you know or maybe you like put it next to the floor and I'm gonna try to find some pictures of what like maybe there's some junk laying around on the floor or something you know I can make it look a little less empty <coughs> I don't think I got any plates or anything like kitchen stuff I do know I made some pans. Well, right there's some. Right, yeah, I might just use those. I did make some though, but I don't know what they're called. Let's call it uh pots. No, it ain't pots. Yeah, I need to just go to mesh because it was something I made. Maybe I can find it in here somewhere. Well, yeah, I guess I could use some of this stuff that I made a while back, like egg carton. Maybe put it on the counter. I uh, got bathroom stuff. I guess I could use that. I was going to wait to do this like in the next video, like go try to decorate everything. There's a cooler. Might put it on uh, the porch or something. <coughs> uh, there they are. Pots and pans. Let's go ahead, and go ahead and put some of this stuff down, like the eggs. Just like throw the eggs over here on the counter. <laughs> Why are they doing that? With the screwdriver. Okay, there we go. And I can just hang, uh, put that one on the stove. And Hang that one up on the wall. Put the beer cooler out here on the porch. Why not? I go in here in the bathroom, see if I can find somewhere to put this stuff. Bathroom. 